Hello. Good morning. How are you today? I hope you have been fine and watching all my 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 friends uh, demos. Uh, this is Daniela Cabrera from Mexico City. So let's start because we only have 50 minutes to finish our beautiful Katrina doll. Okay, so I'm going to put this thing like this. Uh, and I'm going to, because we have a very short time, I'm going to tell you the, the supplies list uh, as we are working, okay? This is a quick view of what uh, we are going to, to need, but I am going to tell you everything while we are working. Okay, so let's start. Let me just move these things away. First, for our internal structure, we will need a styrofoam cone. It doesn't matter what size you find. This is about 17 centimeters length, but you can uh, find a smaller or a sometimes bigger. We will only be using the tip or the top of the cone, okay? I already have cut this uh, piece, okay? It's from the styrofoam. I just cut one piece. How, how, how long? I, I really don't know. That's up to you, the, the, the size that you want your, to make your doll, okay? So you just cut uh, a piece, maybe what is uh, 10 centimeters or less, more or less. Okay, so uh, I just cut with an uh, exacto knife, yes, and then I made another cut in the tip to take away this part in diagonal, and I put some wire inside, okay just for the head. These are skewers, okay? Skewers, uh, tooth, uh, no, no, they are not toothpick. Uh, skewers, um, uh, let me, let, let me think, I forget the name. Um, wood sticks, also, you can use from bamboo or, or, um, or wood. And that will be okay. And a styrofoam base to work on your doll. Okay. So I will start by making the head. For the head, we are going to use this styrofoam ball. What size? Maybe it's about four centimeters length. It's the, it depends on the size of you, the, that you want the, the head of your doll. Okay. Uh, this size of uh, styrofoam was uh, I, I, I used uh, I used this one for this doll and now I'm going to to use this other bigger than this to make this doll okay to make it look different because uh, otherwise I will have the same doll twice so I want to uh, I want to change a little bit the 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 size of this doll to make it look different that way i can put my two dolls on my uh, on my altar de muertos i don't know how to say altar de muertos in english uh, the day of the dead okay so i am starting with with a uh, shortening i am putting shortening all around the styrofoam ball okay and then i'm going to use the the stick the stick the wire and i'm going to put i have already made the, the here one okay i'm going to put it like this because i want something to hold uh, while i'm working the, the styrofoam ball okay so now I'm going to start with white fondant. I'm sorry if I am not reading the comments, sorry guys, 
but we really are very short of time and this requires a lot of uh, work so I have to focus on the doll after I finish I will read all, all your comments if you have any doubts please write them down and I will answer as soon as we finish our doll okay so this is white fondant I am kneading a little bit the white fondant just to help help it to to be more flexible pliable okay so I am kneading a little bit how much or how what can, what uh, amount of fondant will I need to make the face of my sugar doll okay so the the measurement for the heads I always take as a reference the the styrofoam ball that I'm working on okay so for example uh, in this case uh, sometimes I make the same size the 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 fondant uh, as as the styrofoam ball but on other times I made uh, less or I take less uh, fondant uh, for the styrofoam ball in this case it's a little bit uh, smaller the amount of uh, fondant as you can see that's what we are going to use to make the face of our uh, beautiful Katrina doll okay so I'm going to set this thing up so you can see all the movements that I'm going to make I hope you can see clear and well I can't read the comments I don't know why I'm going to check again okay I can see I can't read the comments but I will read them after we finish okay so the first thing the first thing is to knead well your fondant it has to be very soft okay you have to feel the fondant soft and then you will be making a small like uh, small uh, circle maybe oval okay like this and with this fondant you will be uh, uh, let me put some shortening on my on, on my hands you have to use shortening on your hands so you can uh, work with the fondant and uh, you can push the fondant with this part of your hands and that way you you will not uh, take a piece of fondant with you it's only to smooth all the edges and attach the fondant to the styrofoam ball just like this okay don't worry about the back because in the back we are going to put the hair so we don't need a lot of uh, uh, weight uh, we we just uh, are going to cover all those parts that has the, the that uh, will be visible to the people for example i am only taking care right now of the head of the head of the face like this try to make it look like a oval with your fingers as you can see my fingers are running very very easy uh, uh, over the fondant because I have shortening in my hands so that way it will be more easy or easier for you to work with the fondant okay now I am uh, only making you can do it with the with the with this tool I forget the I forgot the name with the rolling pin you can try to make an UV 
like this in this part of the of the head where the wire is connected just to uh, try to mark the jaws of my of my dog just like this okay this is uh, very simple now we are going to need a um, ball tool one big ball tool and we are going to check the size of or where is the center the middle of my doll the face of my doll now I'm going to push it softly with my with my rolling pin just to divide the face in two okay now it's not too much okay it's very soft it's very 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 soft okay now I am going to check if this is the middle part I will push with this on both sides so I can make the eyes okay just like this it has to look like this something like this and then we are going to push or uh, very softly look what I am doing with my fingers I am just touching very soft like this and this on both sides and then I press in the center this way I am starting to, to form this part the nose okay just like this I am pressing very softly just to mark this part of the nose with my finger with my finger and then I just finish here okay it doesn't have to be very uh, or, or you don't have to mark uh, too much okay because we are going to put the tip of the nose in black so right now we only need to mark this part of the nose and that's it okay so now let's continue with the with the lips from this part to this part I make a small hole in the center in the middle and then I'm going to insert my dresden to open just like this not too big okay maybe it's the same size of the mouth okay I'm going to press with my finger so you can see it's the same size of the nose okay so now now that I have uh, opened the, the the mouth I will be using this or you can also use another ball tool to press on both sides but I always like to use the Dresden to press on both sides like this okay and then I smooth with my fingers just like this because if I don't uh, try to smooth these parts she will look like an old lady that will be a great too that will be perfect too but we are not making today a uh, 
an old lady. Okay, so now look what I'm doing. I am pressing with my dresden this part. And I am like a, like a, if I am giving her something to eat. And I am pushing towards me or to the front. This part, look, the position of the dresden. That's it. And then I'm going to close the mouth. What kind of paste am I using? I work with satinized fondant. Sometimes I mix this, the fondant with the with the gum paste. And other times I just work with the fondant because I need it. I need the fondant to stay uh, soft while I'm working. And I have uh, worked with an, another brand, so it doesn't matter what brand are you using. Uh, even if you are making your own uh, fondant. Just try to feel that your fondant is soft and uh, flexible. That's the only thing. Okay. And sometimes uh, satin nice uh, dries too fast. Uh, my weather helps me a lot with that point. Uh, here where I live, it's a... Uh, it's not uh, cold, it's not uh, it's so humid, or it's sometimes it's hot, but um, you can work with any brand because you have an internal structure inside or under the, under the piece. So it will be easy for you to make things okay so i am going to leave this here and i'm going to take now the first color that's going to be the orange no the pink for the dress and a little bit of uh, the other colors i'm going to work at the same time i have here the green okay green and orange i have orange here too i have uh, yellow okay it doesn't have to be these colors if you have different colors just try them to uh, be uh, not uh, so much alike you have to uh, find uh, something some colors that uh, even if they don't match, they will look beautiful on your uh, doll's uh, dress. Because sometimes when the colors don't match, they they look more like, uh, how can I say, like more uh, realistic. <laughs> sometimes dresses have different uh, designs and the colors don't match don't uh, match but they look pretty so sorry i am just needing a little bit the green fondant because it was a little bit dry what did i do just used a damp towel okay the baby towels to clean the you know what the from the babies and uh, my hands are wet and then i i took the fondant and start kneading it because i added a little bit of uh, humidity it was a little bit dry but uh, you you just uh, can do this with your pieces that are not going to be uh, eatable uh, for example this uh, doll it's only f for like special effects on the cake. So that's why I am using the baby uh, towels. But you will 
uh, use water when you are going to work on edible stuff, okay, on a cake or something like that. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to take a little bit of black fondant because we're going to make it all at once. This it is just I sorry, it was my head. It's because I have all my fondant uh, on the side of my of my chair here where am I sitting. So that's why my head. I have here blue fondant as you can see. I am putting uh, over the, 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 the table all the colors that I am going to be use, using in this, uh, in this tutorial, okay? So let's continue. I have already here my, my fondant stuff, my colors, everything is great. So now... I'm going to, let me just clean my hands, I'm going to start with uh, or continue with the face. You are going to need also, um, let me check, if you have a eatable a markers, it will be great. Okay, I am holding like this my, my, my doll because this is still wet. You can use eatable markers. In this case, I'm going to be using these water markers. These are for kids uh, from three years up and uh, these are not non-toxic but you can uh, use the, the edible ones, okay? This is only for this uh, demonstration, okay? The next thing that I'm going to do is the, the eyes of my doll. I am using black fondant, okay? And to make it more easier and, and faster, I am only extending the fondant like this. Poncho. Okay. Like this. And I'm going to use a tip. Yes, a regular tip. Any, any, any tip. Okay. To cut two circles. And I'm going to place those two circles in both eye sockets. Maybe something like this. And then I'm going to press, press. Very soft, like this, and all around the eye with a smaller one, okay? It's just to give uh, more texture because if I leave it like this, it will look uh, or she will look like a panda bear. And we don't want that. It's just to give more texture to the shape of the eye. Okay, so now, <clears throat> sorry, now I am going to use fondant, white fondant. I'm going to clean that. One piece, another piece. Oh, guys, if you if you can share this. A demo that would be great in all your 
uh, personal Facebooks or whatever you want in a group so more people can see, can watch, can join with us today. Okay? And also remember that uh, uh, within each uh, demonstration uh, there are some uh, ruffles and um, games that you can play and win a gift from our sponsors look what I'm doing I am using a, a, a smaller one this is bigger now I am using a smaller one just to open a little bit more or or deeper and I'm going I made two balls two small balls of white fondant and I'm going to check if they fit inside I think they look okay. I think this one is too big, but we are running against the time, so I have no time to uh, change it. Okay, so now I am going to take the blue fondant. I'm going to extend a little bit. Okay, like this. If you feel it's too, it's very it's, it's sticky, you can use a little bit of cornstarch or on your fingers so you can work with the fondant easier, okay? Now I am taking uh, my tips and I'm going to check which one looks better. This is number Ten. Wait, hold on just a minute. I am going to take the twelve. Let's see if number twelve much better. Yes, I think it's much better. Okay, so now I am going to take two. Pieces of the blue fondant then I'm going to put like this on each eye like this just uh, try to put on to, to the top and try to smooth the edges with your rolling pin the rolling pin, your ball tool. Sorry, sometimes the names of the tool. I forget the names and I name them differently. Okay, so now that I uh, I have here this part of my uh, beautiful doll, I will use yes eyelashes fake 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 as fake as your ex-boyfriend okay so i'm going to check which ones look better on my doll in this case i'm going to take this this one that is a little bit uh, shorter on one side and larger on the other side and i'm going to try to put inside between the eye and the and the and the black stuff that I put you can also open with the cutter or an exacto knife and try to put inside by pushing with the tip of the knife inside okay this is not complicated believe me 
just like this so you can have your eyelashes for your doll you can also make them from a fondant mixed with a gum paste but can you imagine how long it will take us to put one by one all the the eyelashes <laughs> Paul will kill me okay so I'm going to open the other part with the exacto knife so I'm going to put or insert the other eyelash and I will help with my cutter just like that I hope you can see okay so now the next step is to uh, play with your uh, doll and you can make a lot of beautiful designs for your doll just let me see what time is it okay sorry i changed the camera setting i can't see the time but hold on Okay, we have not too much time. So now I am, you can put uh, inside both eyes the, the black with a smaller tip. Just uh, put two circles and then you can paint with uh, some white uh, color marker or something uh, white. But in this case, uh, we are running out of time. I am going just to use this marker, okay, to make it faster. Because we are, we have to make it faster. So I'm going to let dry this a little bit. And I'm going to use the white one. You can use the uh, gel color in white. Also, I am going to use this just for you to see how beautiful it looks. But you can use, or you have to use edible colors, okay? So now I'm going to take this away and for the face, okay, we can paint the lips with a uh, color gel or with a uh, color dust mixed with, with uh, alcohol or you can use the edible markers i'm using the edible markers just to make a to make it different this time okay just to make it different this time so you can see different techniques the other times in the other classes i always use a uh, edible uh, color dust the ones that we use to paint the flowers but today I wanted to change a little bit this so for the around the, the, the eyes we are only painting dots pink dots around each eye if I can't finish on time, guys, don't worry because I will uh, continue um, recording the class. And Paul is going to, Paul and David are going to uh, 
put it all together so you can watch the replay later with the complete video okay so don't worry if you suddenly don't see me on screen or the video has ended don't worry because it's because uh, we are running on time and the, uh, they have to to continue with the with the schedule okay so you can watch the finish of this beautiful uh, doll mm, later okay so i you can add a lot of details I am only uh, making a small details so you can see how beautiful she looks. For example, we can add some leaves here, something like that. Okay, so uh, I am not going to continue with uh, this. Uh, you can make, I know you will make a beautiful doll at home. And I want to see your your um, pictures. Tag me or send me your pictures of your dolls. I really want to see if you made a doll. Because they are so beautiful. This is a Mexican tradition. 100% the Katrina doll. Okay, so I will be very honored and happy if you send me a picture of your doll. Okay, so I'm going to put this. Uh, maybe I'm going to put this one, this one on a side. And I'm going to start with the dress. Okay, just to finish, I, for, I almost forgot the... the nose remember i told you don't worry to if if you don't uh, make the nose of your doll okay because i'm going to make a small drop like this one <clears throat> just a small drop i think it was too big and this drop we are going to put the drop in the middle in this in the center and then we are going to try to let me use some shortening because it doesn't run very softly okay and try to make it to the sides just like this you don't have to do a, a lot of stuff you can also make a triangle and stick it to this part of the nose and that's it okay we have a beautiful nose for our Katrina I, I, I thought something I am missing something but I didn't know what and I think that it uh, looks great I think I made the, the eyes a little big you can use less white okay but okay the details the details later because we have no time that's it okay so i'm going to put this on the side again and to start the dress to start making the dress of our doll we have to start by the, the 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 legs okay so I am using white fondant and the only thing that I am doing is a long stripe strip like this stripe like this I don't know how to say and then I'm going to cut in half just like this they are not even but it doesn't work, it does, it's not a problem. 
I'm going to change because I cut here or well let's leave it like that you only have to press inside and twist twist and just the tip leave it on the side okay just push like if you were putting a sock socks on your doll <laughs> just like this it's very simple you can use a glue you can also put here a, a circle of a fondant I am not using the glue because of the time I am only putting some shortening okay so now I am going to try to make this long okay just like this and push to the front again the other one try to just push or pull to the face and with your finger just make this like this and just cut the fingers one two three one two three four it doesn't matter in three halves for example and then two on the like this that's it that's all because it, it they they don't even be going to be very visible so it doesn't matter so we're going to start now with the dress it's only we're going to make something at the same everything at the same time okay so i'm going to extend this fondant i think it's too much i'm going to extend pink fondant roll it out for the body or for the dress like this and black fondant okay what time is it okay i think we still have time just to show you very fast i'm going to stand a strip from black just like this okay sometimes i make this separate but today i'm going to make it uh, at the same time because we don't have too much time so i'm going to make it at the same time but if you make it separate and follow the shape of the flowers it will look so beautiful okay so now i am going to put on the on to, over the the pink like this okay just cut on the edges because we will not need all this and then we are going to extend different colors different fondant colors at the same time we are going to take our cutters if you have cookie cutters or fondant cutters with uh, with this thing to expel the to push the fondant 
I have many different sizes so I'm just going to cut different flowers just like this and put them in different places okay maybe like this inside the black inside the black okay and maybe this size for the yellow one like this maybe one okay in this place and this is a smaller one of orange something like that okay just play with the colors make different uh, designs just to make it look more uh, like a uh, bright just play with your uh, fondant and try to make different designs okay so i think uh, this one look will look okay i'm going to use my smoother just to press like this and the flowers will stay like that okay so now the next thing I'm going to do is to roll out a little bit more and to cut with a plastic knife could be, yes why not, with a plastic knife I'm going to cut in this part of the dress, I'm going to cut on the sides what I don't need, okay and I'm going to take my doll Just like this. Let me see what time is it. Okay, we only have two minutes. So I am going to just to show you this and you can come back to be to to, to see the finish uh, work again later. Okay, we will only make this drop big drop okay and we are going to put in here for the neck like this i'm going to cut and we will be using few strips sorry we we couldn't finish on time but this will look beautiful I will only add this because in any moment I will go out uh, of line so don't miss the the finish of this doll we are almost there Okay, we're almost there. I have just to cut here. I think it's okay. I just wanted you to see how it looks. Okay, so I am going to cut the excess of fondant. Last night I made a test and I made it in 37 minutes. I don't know why I did I couldn't finish on time now. Well, sometimes that happens. But stay tuned and stay for the uh, for the raffles and uh, all the things that Cakeflix has for you in this day of sh of uh, Caking all over the world. We are back and thank you so much to all the sponsors the Cake Decorating Company, Cake Masters Magazine, Cake Cream, Roxy and Rich Colorants, Bake Boss, Karen Davis, Cake Touches. Thanks, Paul and David. Thanks so much for everything and for taking me, for trusting in my work. 
and we will continue in uh, in the recordings because I think uh, in any moment I will go offline okay so I am just cutting the excess here don't worry about this mess I hope you can see this okay this is the 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 bones these are the bones for my doll just mark the bones okay what time is it two minutes okay i think we are now about to finish thank you so much i will i will come back uh, i will finish to record this so you can see uh, see the finished doll okay so bye bye